Days. Was there some sort of fight here? Let's keep going and see what we can find. Shine down. Ha! Ha! with nature.
Ah, Sino. It's been some time since I've seen you last. I trust you are doing well. Seeing that you've made it all the way here, you must be on the cusp of wrapping up your investigation, I presume. Hmm. <laughs> Even faster than I expected. Is it because you have some new partners now? That's right. This case is nearly closed. But the most important answer still eludes me. Was it all your doing? Smuggling the canned knowledge? The research of the Court of Desolation? <sighs> yes. It was me. Then explain why. That's the difficult part. Let's just say I've changed. I've become a selfish coward who only wants to pursue his own interests. I find that hard to believe. Oh, really? Way I see it, Every person will end up like me sooner or later. When you're young, you press forward, unattached, living solely for the justice in your heart. But as you begin to age, you start to become more cautious. You know many things are wrong, but still turn a blind eye to them. I was the same. I never questioned my actions until Murtada died. I could feel the justice that I once strived to uphold slowly crumbling in my heart. I was completely dedicated to all that I did, but as I grew older, I found myself feeling alone, miserable. Can you imagine what it feels like to not have the will to live, but not be able to die? <sighs> Murtada was sent to prison by my own hands. I set myself on this painful path. My son hated me till the day he died, and now I must live with that pain and regret. I failed him as a father. But now, now I have a chance to make it right. A chance to reunite with him. The Court of Desolation. Here lies the key to overcoming life and death. The power to even bring the dead back to life. So, did you already find what you needed here? <laughs> See this door behind me? Behind it lies the treasures that I seek. I'm so close, Sino. If only you hadn't arrived now, I could already have... Enough conjecture. What has happened is already part of the past. You cannot bring the dead back to life. In the end, the treasures you seek are nothing but myths and legend. Since you're so sure, why don't you just let me open the door and see then? No. I sense danger behind that door. There will be dire consequences the moment you open it. I beg you, as an old partner, 
Can you let me fulfill my last wish just this once? Surely you get it by now. Doing your job without mercy will only drive people away from you. I'm the prime example. I don't overthink things. If there is only one way for me to defend my principles, then that is the path I will take. Seems there's no convincing you. Alright then. Let's see if your polearm skills have improved at all. This power is mine! Shine down! I will set things right no matter what the cost. As one with wind and cloud! Things are about to get dicey. <laughs> As I thought. <laughs> Your strength. You feel it, don't you? I'm stronger than you remember. I gained new power when I entered the Chord of Desolation. This is only a taste of it. Once I open the door behind me, this power will be complete. Even life and death will have no grip on me. Uh-oh. We have to stop this guy! I won't let you open that door. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm afraid it won't be easy to stop me now that you're injured. Or are you ready to sacrifice your life for this? I'll do what I have to. <laughs> I still remember when we first became partners. You were always charging forward and putting your life on the line, just like now. Even after all this time, you still haven't changed. You haven't changed either. You left that list of names and map in your house on purpose, didn't you? You wanted me to be able to find you here. All of this was just part of the act you were putting on. What happened just now was also part of your plan. You might have fooled those on the list. But... You will not fool me. I had my suspicions from the beginning, but I couldn't be sure until we fought. If he really had changed, your fighting style wouldn't be as it was before. Huh? What do you mean, Sino? He never planned on opening the door. His true intention was... Seems our time is running short. Let me make this quick then. After Mortada died, my spirit was crushed. For a long time, I was hoping this reality was just some terrible nightmare. I hoped I would just wake up and be able to see his smiling face again. That is when I was approached by someone who wished to collaborate and find the Court of Desolation together. I did some investigation of my own, and discovered they were part of a massive organization. People from every walk of life are involved. They are relentless in their search, pouring countless mora into secret research, even sacrificing lives in hopes that the Court of Desolation would appear. No wonder banning the research wasn't enough. A full-scale operation was already in motion. I'm a flesh-and-blood human like anyone else, so I obviously hesitated and considered it. The thought of bringing my son back tugged at my heart, but in the end, <laughs> I came to my senses. I knew that I could not let myself go down that path. I suddenly came to a realization amidst my suffering, the Cord of Desolation, 
a place that once drove people to tragedy was still doing so even centuries later. As long as this place exists, people will recklessly seek it out, just as Mortada did, generation after generation, regardless of the cost. Let it be buried beneath the sand forever. Once the Court of Desolation is gone, there will no longer be anyone obsessed with seeking it out. That's right. I acted as if I had abandoned my convictions just so that they would cooperate without raising any suspicion. This was the only way I could find and destroy this place. But that wasn't enough. I needed someone I could trust to bring the organization to justice. The Academia forbids the research of the Court of Desolation, so they would never approve my plan in the first place. To add to the problem, the organization is so powerful that they even have members working within the Academia. If I wished to destroy the organization, I couldn't just count on the Academia alone. So, you pretended to be the one behind all this as a test for me. <sighs> yes. I'm sorry, but now I am assured. You haven't changed at all. You are still as you always were, fearless, and making no compromise. Anyway, this place is collapsing. You must leave now. Wait! Aren't you leaving too? There are still loads of bad guys to catch outside! His fate is already sealed. There is no life left inside him. He is like a candle with no more wick to burn. You planned it all from the very beginning, didn't you? Risking being treated as a traitor to collaborate with them. Sacrificing your own life to open and destroy the Court of Desolation. Hmm. Regardless, I made a grave mistake by allowing the smuggling and the research of this place. Let this be the final judgment on myself. I was always so busy with work that I never made time to fulfill Mortada's wishes. <sighs> Finding this place was his biggest wish. Since I'll be reuniting with him here, I can only hope he won't have anything more to hold against me. I'll leave all those people on the list to you. Sorry. For all the trouble I've caused. There's nothing to be sorry for. We are partners. If you see Mortada, send him my greetings. Goodbye, old friend. strict with me. I'm always the only one who gets in trouble. Just leave me alone! Don't worry, I won't damage your precious reputation. Alright, Dad. Let's start over. By the way, I finally found an area of research I wish to pursue. Why can't you show even a little leniency? <laughs> Why? Because we are Matra. Huh? The Court of Desolation has... Just as Taj said, that place had caused too many disasters and tragedies. Being buried in quicksand is its rightful end. To them, as long as there's Mora to be made, they will disregard the Academia's rules, whether it's the Court of Desolation or anything else. Their only goal is to make massive profits off of dangerous research. Taj may have set them back with the Court of Desolation, but it won't be long before they continue searching for another target. That's an opportunity that I will not let them have. We'll help too. Thank you. But you've already done enough. 
Just leave the rest to me. I will bring them to justice myself. Besides, I promised you that I would sweep away any potential danger. So, that's what I'm going to do. Wait for me a caravan rebob four days from now.